can consciousness, this whole movement, with all its content, all the rest of it, can consciousness be aware of itself? Or must it be aware of itself through pain, disappointment, hope, or... You mean to be aware of what it actually is? Yes. Can, Directly, right? No, no, not what actually. Can consciousness see itself wholly? Without the prod of pain? Uh, that's only part. No. The, the sum of the parts is not the truth. That's good yeah. job. Please. Well, I, we discussed yesterday, that, or the other day, that we may see something through its consequences and by inferred it. Are you saying we are not to do that, but consciousness is going to see directly itself? Right? Sorry, sir. Are you going to say we are going to... Consciousness directly must be aware of itself, That's right. not through its consequences, That's right. not through what it does. Now, can you be aware of that? Can consciousness be aware of itself? Not prodded, not pulled, or con become aware through pain, disappointment, and so on. Isn't it the same process as eh? what we just discussed? Isn't it the same process as that? No, and yet, no, no, no. I'm asking something a little bit different, which is a thought can become aware that it's limited through pain. We said it so far. I'm, I'm expanding that same thing a little bit more, which is that can thought, can consciousness, the totality of it, be aware of itself? I wonder if I'm, is that question... Well, I mean, let's try to make it more clear that, that uh, uh, you know, there are different ways of being aware of yourself. For example, you may look in a mirror and become aware of yourself. Is that the sort of thing you're thinking, you're discussing? Yes. Right. I can aware, and um, I can look at my my face in the mirror and say, "Yes, that's my face," right. because I've seen it so often. That face in the yes. mirror, yeah. <laughs> that's my face. But you're getting a direct reflection of yeah, the of face, right? As if you were looking at it. Can consciousness do that? It doesn't seem to be the same process as a mirror. It doesn't seem to be a reflection. Well, no, no, that, that, don't don't run that to simile to death, because he's just taken that as a simile. There's still that question right there of how would a consciousness that was involved as it is get over to awareness of itself? In other words, mm -hmm. it, it's you're <coughs> again we seem to be coming to this business of the. No, sir. Inherent no, insight no, no, to it. I'm asking something else. You know, the totality of consciousness, not the part, but the whole of the whole moon. Thought is, it listens, sir. Thought is limited movement. Is consciousness on the same level as thought. Uh, right? Yes, or is it more, are you saying? Yeah, oh, I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Or it, it contains something more, mm -hmm. or the something more is still the thought has put it in it and said there's something more. Yeah, or, mm -hmm. thought, yeah well that would be an illusion. Eh? Huh? That would be an illusion. Yes, of course. Of is course. it actually more? Yes. Yes. But, but the previous thought, yeah. what is consciousness? Because the approach to consciousness, when you ask a question like this, that can consciousness be aware of itself? The approach to the answer is through thought, and if there is no thought, uh, how do you? Ah, no, no. You see, you've jumped ahead. Have you no thought? Have you realized the limitation of thought? The fine, the, the, fini the finite of the nature, the finiteness, right. the finite nature of thought. Yeah. Or you just say, but let's go to something else. You see, you have said that consciousness is its content. 
but now you're saying that it also is more. Right? Approximate. I'm asking because asking. we think there's something more in it. Yeah, a thought may right. think there's right. something more, right? No, but I think that that's a, a, a business of thinking is more or, or is it or is it more? Yeah, that's right. what I was yeah. No, no, it's very interesting because man has said in consciousness there is divinity, outside agents, Brahman in India, uh, here I don't think they think in those terms, but there is a sense they speak of God, in God, there is God inside of me, this, in this, this consciousness, is going to sit next to God. Now, if all that is the movement of thought, all of it, then whole of consciousness is obviously finite, particular, limited. How much one must absolutely clear on this point because there lies deception. That's all part of what we've been talking about all week. You know, this you can't do it yourself, and you're the whole mm. setup. Yeah. But I'm sorry, didn't you say once that consciousness included the sensations? Of course, consciousness is part of sensations. That's not put together by thought. Sensations exist. Said, no, sensation. When when thought identifies with the senses. When it identifies. Then it becomes the circus begins. But uh, every sensation is uh, named by thought already. Yes. Of course, of course. That's right. So, we come to the point, have I, has my mind, has this mind, this <laughs> brain, realized that thought is everlastingly, from the beginning to the end, is finite, limited, particular, incomplete. And whatever it does, psychologically, technologically to move, which has been to Venus, well, that's still finite, of course, yeah, of no course, matter how course. far it moves. <laughs> 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 but you see, but you see, they think that move, going to the moon, to the, to Venus, is evolution, is growing. This morning, uh, or last night, on television, there was a German gentleman, yellow robes and all that, in the ITV. He was saying, we are practicing meditation. Yoga is, we are teaching yoga in order to learn meditation. Meditation means control, um, control your emotions, control your... And he's propagating that, propagating that. And the poor blighters are listening to it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I listened. I said, I said you were listening. I did. I said, what wrong? <laughs> no, you see what we are doing, sir? Everything is in, in the wrong direction. Wrong. You know, don't. It's going contrary to something else. The next thing is the mind, the brain, thought is now silent, has its, its place, right? And therefore, non movement has entered. Right? Could, could we say that? Non movement has taken place. Huh? Can you really actually say that?
then what is flowering? That's the whole point. Mm. Right? We have considered flowering the, the immaturity of thought moving and remaining immature always. Right? Uh, well, the mind, thought realizes that and says, all right, piano, piano, piano. So it has its place. Then what is flower? Then what is it that flowers? Right, sir? Can we go on from there? Is this, is this speculative or actual? 